Black boy, tell me how you really feel. I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I just wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. I wanna feel so aligned, sublime. One time for the state of mind, two times for elevated rhymes. No, I architected when I laid design. I drown noise down. Has feminism helped or hurt us? <laughs> That's you have to ask me, dude. You have to ask me a follow up to this after I, because I'm going to say no. But it's helped. It's hurt us. Period. Elaborate. Whatever question I want you to like. Elaborate. Answer. Okay. Ask me again. Has feminism helped or hurt us? It's 100% hurt us. And I hate saying things with certainty sometimes, because it's like, okay, things change. That's something that is proven to me that has not... Feminism in the way that this country and this Western society has given to us on a platter, it's like, oh, here you go. 100% been a detriment to the black community. A, a, I have people in my life and people that I know that would disagree because of good reason as far as I am an independent woman and I have goals, like real goals and real ambitions. And I still have men in my life that I love, but I ride for women's shit. I respect that. I respect that a hundred percent. Modern day feminism is what I'm assuming is the answer to that question. Or the, what you're asking me? Has completely and efficiently and calculatively, that's a word, turned us away as black people, as black women, from ourselves, which is the probably the most important and from our community and a hundred percent from our black men. And it's heartbreaking. It really, really is. Because hmm, not only is it not logically sound to not have men around, from a logical perspective of everyday life in the world that we live in, is it not logically sound? How can you, how can you embrace feminism to the detriment of someone else that looks so much like you? That's my thing. Like how, how have, who has taken it that far? And that's when I, I talk to you and I'm like, we, I don't like speaking in generalities because like the women that I was just talking about they're, they will probably call themselves feminist, but they have balance and they just love women, you know, and they want to see women thrive on a day-to-day -day basis. But like the super, super like, can we use politic terms? Woke left, those type of feminists. It's like we have to define things, which is going to be a lot more of a conversation, but Super, super woke feminist, which I was one at one point, for sure. They don't see the reality of survival to me. That's not what I saw when I was younger. I didn't care about surviving. I don't want, fuck them kids. I don't want, I'm like, what are you talking about kids at 19, 20 years old? Protecting another human? What? No. Having a community of people? Mm -mm. Fuck these niggas. These niggas are dummy dirty anyway, so why do I give a fuck about you? Like, that's literally the mindset. And it's not, it's not not understandable. It's just illogical, honestly. And when you get older and those hormones start to come, you know, you start thinking about having children, 
you start thinking, yeah, maybe feminism was a detriment because unless I've been brainwashed by feminism, there's a lot of feminists out here that want to have kids. They don't care about having a man in their life. Unless you're being brainwashed by that, you're like, no, let's, let's calm down a bit and think about this for a sec. So to answer your question, yes, absolutely. I think that feminism has taken us more f farther away from ourselves as women than anything else. It's my soapbox. Man, there were some gems mm -hmm. in that. There was a lot of gems in that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so the question is, what is the real reason you celebrate the city girls, hot girls, only fan girls, strippers, and rapper baby mamas? What is the real reason? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? interesting I don't <laughs> disclaimer no I mean I don't I'm not gonna lie like I'll listen to city girls like if I'm at a party I'll bop to it I'm not gonna lie to you I will I'll bop to it the glorification of it Um, I think that City Girls, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Lil' Kim. We can go back. City Girls didn't start this shit. We can go back, back, right? I think that mm, they allowed for women to play in space that they weren't meant for. We weren't meant to talk about popping pussy and getting money and all of the vain things that maybe our male counterparts can talk about. Not in that we can't partake. Anybody can partake in anything. But what comes natural to us? You know? So it's like Lil' Kim saw Biggie or Tupac or whatever talking about all the shit and being like this and having that demeanor. Not so much what's coming out your mouth, but just the demeanor. The Lil' Kim, I guess, is maybe from what I can think of going back, might be the first pinnacle of a woman on that nasty shit, right? And then maybe Trina. And then the lick it good, suck it now, lick it. Yeah, that bitch. Excuse me. That young lady. You know, um, I, it's like, I want to be like the men. So what do I have to do and what do I have to say to be like the men? Because the men are doing damn good, right? Diddy's doing good. Biggie's doing good. They're making money. They're getting attention. I live in the Western world. Fastest way to, to get attention and to make money is as for a woman is to talk about pussy. It takes time to build something around your intellect or around your kindness towards your community. It takes time for that. But as far as quick money glorification on a yacht, you know, shaking ass, what's that TikTok? It's like, I'm on a yacht in Dubai. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that, you can do that. Pop pussy. And you're pretty? Come on. Pretty women. If you have good pussy, you can do it. You can get a lot of places. But it's like the willingness to do it and the sacrifice, the self-sacrifice that it really takes. I Like, I really want to, I cannot wait for the day I sit down. Because I'm going to sit down with, um... What's her name? Carisha. Carisha. Young Miami, JT. I only want to sit down and, and ask her and Cardi B too, like, do you have to get yourself prepared every time you get in front of a camera and shake an ass? The first time you did it, how did that feel? The first time after having a daughter, how did that feel to get in front of a camera like that 
and shake ass and talk about sticking and sucking and licking and fucking doing all of the things and knowing that these young women, i.e. your daughter, might see this one day. Like, how does that feel when you're influencing and you have the attention? It doesn't matter how it feels. I can imagine. It doesn't matter as long as I get that glorification. I don't think that women 30 and above are the, are the reason for young Miami's negligence and Cardi B's negligence. Cause I call, you know, I call that shit negligence all day long. It's the young girls that they like that. Like I finally get to compete and I finally get some competition and it's sad and it plays into their insecurities and women like to impress one another and we we really are all about reputation so if i can be a 17 year old that is fine and i go after the nigga with money 19 year old girl that runs a nigga for his check and has all this money i can tell my friends about that or i can put it on social media and other girls see stuff like that and it feels good to the ego because women are very much reputation based. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. It's the West has done a fabulous job of glorifying capitalism and glorifying material things to where we've sold our souls and we've sold our kids for the expense of having things and having the attention of men and doing the things that are not natural to us as women. Imagine if Cardi B and oh, Meg Thee Stallion, I guess she did just graduate, which I think that's fire. So shout out to her and kudos to her. But I also question that because even though you make songs and your raps about you may be graduating, that's not the premise of what you're talking about at all. But we'll glorify her for, for graduating. Kudos. But your next song is going to talk about fucking a nigga for some money. So it's like, make it make sense to me. I don't know. Yeah. That's my soapbox.